Yo, what is up guys, Zorin here with another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC video. Hope you guys are doing well. So today I'm bringing you my own team. Now, honestly, I'm very iffy with using this, but we're just going to try anyways. I'm, I'm, I made a Cloyster team, and I'm honestly, I don't feel very confident in Cloyster. Cloyster's got power creep so hard, and it's really, really difficult to protect it, but I wanted to make it because I wanted to make something fun. And Cloyster just kind of came into an idea. It's like, oh, we haven't played Cloyster in a while. Anyways, before we start, I just want to thank Aquamoth for the Murkrow and the Cloyster. Because without him, I wouldn't have been able to get Cloyster and the Murkrow quick enough. Especially Murkrow, because you have to get it at night. So thank you, Aquamoth. Shout out to you for, for it. Team wouldn't have been made as fast as I did if it wasn't for you. Now, with that said, I just want to quickly explain the team here. Because there are a few things that I want to explain about the team before we get started. Uh, Cloyster here obviously is the main star of the show that we want to like try to play. It's going to be very difficult because it, it gets resisted by a lot of things that are meta, like our Chaladon. Our Chaladon is very scary, but that's why Godengo is here with the ground Terra. Terra Blast, if they are running the Jujo common spread that you see with like a little bit of special defense investment and Assault Vest, Godengo here actually can Terra Blast it and send it to the Gulag and actually almost... It has a very tiny chance of surviving, but it most likely will sh one shot our Chaladon with Terra Ghost, which is really, really nice. And if it doesn't, you you have Murkrow here with Sunny Day to stop the Pelipper from having the sun up. And then if it goes for Electro Shot, well, now it's locked in with that Electro Shot, and you can just finish it off with Goldengo after that, right? So that's kind of the, the whole point. And even if it goes for Weather Ball on the Goldengo, it's not going to be a fire type move, so it won't one shot Goldengo since your Terra stylizing to ground. So that's just something I wanted to mention here with the Archaladon. That's kind of like your Archaladon answer. Arcanine here is your Lilico answer, kind of. Because um, basically, you bring it in and you can just rock slide because it can't be put to sleep. It can't put... You can't... Um, you basically can't put it to sleep and you have Dragon Terra to resist both, you know, everything that Lilico does besides its close combat move, which is fine because you're at minus... It's at minus one, so that's not really a big deal. So if you have to tear the Dragon, you have the option. But Clefairy is here as well to kind of help you with that too. You can follow me and Arcanine can just, uh, you know, handle handle the Torkoal and Liligant there because it can't be put to sleep. So that's something to, to note. Uh, Rillaboom here is just for like terrain control if you can if you can do it. That's mainly here. I kind of wish I had a U-turn on this one instead since Goldengo is kind of our ground coverage anyway. So U-turn actually would be better here. But yeah, that's kind of the team here. That's what you have for answers for the meta. The only one I don't have great answers to is yeah, Cloyster. But I, I think Clefairy, I mean Cloyster, sorry, Malsape. But I think with Clefairy, that's pretty much your best answer because you can use Follow Me into Cloyster. I mean, into to redirect the beat up so it doesn't get the Rage Fist stacks. And then, and then allow Cloyster to just set up or have Goldengo just one shot them or something. But yeah, we have after you here as our way in case they get Trick Room up. You have you can after you the Cloister, the Rillaboom, the Arcanine. And you can't do that to Goldengo sadly, so don't try to after you Goldengo. That's one thing I want to mention. But yeah, with that with that said, that's really the it for me. Um, the rent to the Poké Base will be in the description below if you guys want to try the Cloister and see how you guys do. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe, guys, because it really helps a lot, and it helps me get my chicken nuggies so I don't starve to death. Anyways, guys, with that said, let's just get straight into it and see what happens. Alright, what are we dealing with here? I have no idea what's going on here. Uh, I really don't. I don't know what's going on here. Tailwind isn't necessary here. At least I don't think it is. I could be wrong. And it could be necessary. Uh, because I don't have Steel Terra to just go in super hard, right? I could do this. Bring Clefairy and Dax in the back. And just call it a day. Maybe. I don't know. Cloyster's kind of having a rough time right now. With this one. There's, there's a few things I can deal with, but I, I need to get rid of Gambit somehow. And then I should be fine. Or at least dent it. And it's just these two, okay. So 
Does it flower trick? No, it goes. It definitely goes for a, a, a move, right? It doesn't flower trick me here. It never. It never goes for that. Uh, it, does a knockoff or something KO me here? I don't know. I'm just gonna go for this. A wood hammer into this, and pray it doesn't go for like an ice or flower trick onto my gold angle. I don't know if I live a, a a like dark move. That's why I don't know the calc for that. It's not a calc that I was thinking of, you know. Oh, it's just going for U turn. Okay. Well, I didn't want to. I didn't want to risk it. Oh, it almost kills me. Okay. Well, that's scary. We do have Clefairy in the back though, so that's okay. Kinda okay. As long as we get rid of the uh, the thing, I think it's okay. Okay, there's that. Yep. Then that U-turn actually almost KO's Rillaboom. That's insane. That was probably a roll too, so I might have gotten lucky there. But no Trick Room, so that's at least good. That's always fantastic. Alright. I think I'm going to Dax here, actually. I'm going to Dax. He goes into Masquerada, yep. And then I'm going to go ahead and switch into Clefairy here and protect. I think that's my play here. How am I going to Shell Smash though? I have no clue yet. He Scarfed on this Masquerada then. Oh, he's 100% Scarfed now that I think of it. Has to be 100% Scarfed here. What, what, what could I have done with the Terra? Nothing, right? Yeah, no. I think I'm fine with the Terra here. This thing has to be Scarfed. 100%. So we're gonna protect. We might go for Fake Out if we're lucky. Yep. Okay, good. So he does do that. And Flower Trick. Oh, he just went straight for a Cloister. He did not care, he just went straight for Cloister, okay. Who's this last Mon then? I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and just follow me. An Icicle Spear. I think that's better than to go for the Shell Smash actually. Because if it's Scarfed, I'm still not outspeeding it. So Shell Smash doesn't actually help me here. Okay, that's fine. I, I kind of had to do this. Oh, he has King Gambit in the back. Okay. King Gambit in the back is a little scary, actually. Not really, but... Could be. Didn't want to risk it, though. Because you could just go for facade here. Close combat, okay. That still did a lot, Jesus. I need to know if he has, um, what's its face in there? He has Iron Head, this is kind of a problem. So I'm gonna protect here, I'm gonna protect again. Just to be sure. He could switch out to Masquerada, but at this point I kind of have to play safe. 
Like, I absolutely have to play safe here. I just want to see what he has. Yeah, it does have Iron Head, okay. Yeah, I figured. Some of them carry Iron Head, so I needed to be sure. And if he has it, then I have to deal with that. The problem is, how do I deal with the Masquerade in the back then? Uh... I'm gonna switch into this, and I'm just gonna Isoco Spear this slot. My best bet here is to do that. I don't wanna lose my Clefairy just yet. I'm gonna go into Midas. I'm just gonna KO this. Alright, we got a KO here, but yeah, how are we gonna deal with our uh, Mascarada is beyond me. Let alone this thing, right? <laughs> look, look, look how much that did. It's so much damage. That iron hit so much. What the heck? Is this thing choice banded? There's no way that, that does that much to this thing, right? I think I lose, honestly. I don't think I can win this. They just sucker punch me now. I can't, like, I can't touch this thing. But I think I just lose. I did so much damage. There's no way this thing is like choice banded or something. Oh boy, I don't know what to do here. Cause I think I needed to I needed to save the Terra, but I was I wasn't sure if I if a dark move KOs. Goldengo, especially with how much that iron hit, hit did, I think I think Mascarda could KO the Goldengo. Was he terroring? Oh, the Mascarada into okay. I mean, that just keeps some grass, I guess. Yeah, he did go for Sucker Punch, but he probably went for Flower Trick too. Oh, he didn't. Okay. Yeah, he went for Flower Trick, but I was expecting him to go for Gold Dangle there. That covers a swap out, so thankfully he didn't see that. Uh. I guess at this point, I just follow me and Icicle Spear. That's really all I can do. They didn't lose this. I can guarantee you, I was just. I was just Hoping he would like mess up because uh, I also could fear Max Karada, but then how do I deal with the uh, <laughs> how do I deal with the King Gambit? Uh, you know what? We'll take it. All right, GG. Okay, well, there's an Archalodon. Yippee. Okay. And a Superior. Okay. Charlotte and Superior. Well, I'm just going to do this and pray, I guess. Bring these two in the back and call it a day. Yeah, we're just gonna pray. <laughs> we're just gonna pray. There's a Latios too, so it's not even Regulation H completely. There's a because Latios isn't isn't Regulation H. It is not. It is absolutely not. But we'll see what we can do with this. Oh, it's these two. If we trick rooms, I get to, uh, I'll do something silly, but we'll see. Follow me. 
Because we have after you, so we can just do that. So we're just going to go with this. We're just going to do this. We're going to Shell Smash, call it a day. There's a Leaf Storm. Yeah, that did a lot. Jesus, man, these guys are doing a lot to Clefairy. It's so bulky, and yet I still take a lot. Mate, do I have my Envelite, man? Sorry, I think I don't have Envelite. No, without Envelite, I probably would get one shot at there. Okay. Is it just Trick Room? Oh, it's Source Dance. Okay. Oh, that's scary. I'll be honest. I'm gonna just go for this, and I'm just gonna um, follow me again. I'll figure it out later. I'm hoping I didn't have to. Uh, I didn't have to Terra there. Okay, we're good. All right, Mimikyu gone. He didn't tear it either. Jesus, he does, he's not respecting me at all. There's that again. Okay. Uh. What do I want to do here? He hasn't terra That's that's kind of an issue for me. Okay. I could just Rock Blast, no? Hopefully it just KOs. A plus two. You know what? I'm going to protect. I'm so scared of this. What do I do? Maybe I should have went into Midas. Uh, the Murkrow first, actually. Is he t is he Fire Terra? I would assume he is. I'm gonna go for it, and I'm just gonna Shadow Ball this slot. And just pray, I guess. He did in Terra again. He does not have an ice move, right? Three. Four. Okay. Five. Okay, cool. It fully KOs. I went for Rock Blast to cover for Fire Trap, but this guy just doesn't know what a Terra is. He has to be Grass Terra then. But even then, you would want a Grass Terra there, no? Or full damage since you're going full. Are we faster than it? Sashed? Okay. He's sashed. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, he helping hand, right? Ah, uh, that's why, because he has Gen Mons. That explains it. That explains a lot. And it's not even Intimidate, yeah. Okay. I think I'm just gonna do this. Well, when your, when your opponent doesn't know what they're doing, this team works really well. <laughs> that Intimidate would have uh, helped him out a little bit. Just a little bit. I wonder what Terra he has then. Why is he slower on that Latios? Latios is very fast. A max speed, but that means he's not even EV trained on that Latios. He just picked it up and dropped it on his team. That's what I'm assuming is happening here. Absolutely what's happening here. He's thinking about it too. Man, you can't, you can't like, you honestly can't think of what these like casual players are thinking because it's like you 100% sh you Terra somewhere in there. Maybe not turn one, but turn two because, you know, I'm, I'm most likely setting up Shell Smash. But yeah, I don't know. We're just throwing rocks at things now. All right, Dex, there you go. Another KO for you. Take out that generated Arcanine out of here. 
Okay, now we now we do this. We do the Shadow Ballino. And then there you go, Ladius is gone. <laughs> so many people gen their mods and go on to casual ladder, that's crazy. At least make it less believable, guys. Come on. Come on, guys. Alright, let's go into the next game. Ooh, another side spam team. Yikes. Yikes, 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 yikes. Wait, did we fight side spam? Frick, I don't remember. <laughs> Probably not. What was what did what did we fight? Oh no 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 no! I'm thinking of um, I'm I'm confusing side spam with trick room, but it wasn't even trick room either, right? It was a uh, it was a Ferrigerath with a Mascarada. It it was trick room, but it, I, I I didn't give them the chance. That's what it was. Okay, never mind, never mind. Okay, uh, honestly. He has a wheezing though. That's the one thing I'm, I'm kind of scared of here. He has a wheezing. So I'm going to go with these two instead. I'm going to go with Dax in the back. And we're going to leave the uh, Clefairy in the back, I think. Actually, you know what? I'm trying to go kind of hard here, but I think I kind of want um, Midas here instead with Unga Bunga in the back and Dax the back because there's a wheezing and you know what wheezing does it, it disables your my skill link and that's kind of a problem so i'm gonna go with this instead no shot you go nine tails into a gold dango or a crow right that's kind of silly you're a little silly if you do that losing gudo's gold isn't the worst losing friend guards kind of bad Oh, it's these two. What are these two gonna do to me? I'm actually terrified now. Um, I'm just gonna follow me. And uh, make it rain, I guess. i just go for make it rains. Sometimes I wish I have Steel Terra, but like... You kind of have to have something for our child on if you face it, so... This was my best option. Honestly. There is not a lot of options to deal with Archaladon right now. So you kind of have to go with what you can. Probably going for speed boosts, maybe. Gravity. Oh, he's going for hypnosis. Is. Oh, god. I wonder if he switches out into his wheezing. Because that won't be fun. True. But that means Trick Room's not coming out. That does mean Trick Room. But that does mean that he is wheezing might come out. Yeah. Okay. That's a little bit unfortunate right now. Because gold as gold means I can be put to sleep. Okay, I'm just gonna follow me here. And I'm just gonna make it rain. Or he just protects. It's fire Terra too, okay. Landing good. I'm just gonna be putting everything to sleep. Pretty much. Yep, love these strategies with the, that involve just putting everything to sleep. Okay, we figure this out. Still really good damage though. Very nice, very good crit. Deserve for playing sleep strategy. Fire blast too. Okay.
Okay. How do we deal with this? Now we can't follow me, obviously. I think I'm just gonna go into Dax here and just let him put, put me to sleep. That's fine. Yep, there's another sleepy sleep. Oh boy. That's okay. Dax, you're gonna have to just be on the on the side of uh Ah yes, sludge bomb too, okay. Okay, let's just go into Gabunga here. Um, I'm just gonna fake out. And Rock Blast in case I do wake up, I guess. Fantastic. What a great Pokemon player. <laughs> just putting everything to sleep. What a guy. Okay. But he doesn't have a lot of damage, I hope. At least what I'm hoping he doesn't. I'm gonna Terra here and I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna Woodhammer something and just go for a Rock Smash on this. In case I wake up. It's so I don't get hit by a Sludge Bomb or a Fire Blast. He had a Fire Blast too, by the way. He had Fire Blast and he hit it. That's why I deserved that crit. It was great. I deserved a crit. He, he hits Fire Blast, I, hit, I get crit. But he has like no damage, so... I don't think I'm worried. Too worried about this guy just spamming Hypnosis. Like, what do you do? Like, after spamming Hypnosis, what do you do, honestly? Like, I actually want to know. The one thing I'm scared of is Lumina Crash Sludge Bomb. That can be kind of annoying. I, I, my energy is not the greatest, so I know I'm going to be sleeping for a while. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. That's not going to help me. Yeah, it's my, my luck. Yep. My luck. Because now he's going to put my other dude to sleep, right? My luck is really, really bad. Well, that was that was, that was a guaranteed sleep on the, on the dude. Now he has to actually worry about his hits, though. That's the thing. Oh boy. Alright, let's just woodhammer this and just go for another make it rain. Let's call it a day. Because he does have Luminar Crashes and he just spams and just hopes he gets lucky basically. It's really the the whole point of this strategy is just to be lucky. So I can't really beat it anymore. I tried everything. I absolutely did try everything. He's probably gonna Luminar Crash and then... Okay, he does it. Okay. What does he have in the back then? What does he have in the back? That warrants a protect instead of praying you hit off hypnosis. With his luck, he would have hit. There's no way he wouldn't have. Uh, if it's in DD, I lose my thing again anyways. Oh, he loses his... Oh no, he doesn't. Thank god I woke up. Thank god. Hypnosis, man. Hypnosis spam. 
you wake up in the morning and the thing that you decide you want to play is a hypnosis spam team. <laughs> Gotta love it. Same energy as people who play Muck Smurkle. Or Smurkle, whatever they call it. Yeah, it is this. Okay. Is, th is this thing scarfed? It's gonna be scarfed, isn't it? It's gonna be scarfed. Alright, make it rain. Call it a day. Good thing I didn't lock myself into uh, into Shadow Ball. But he's gonna Lumina crash me and then expanding force. If he's scarfed, then it's probably GG. It's most likely scarfed. Like 100% it's scarfed. With the way th this man is playing his team, he's 100% scarfed. Which is kind of annoying, honestly, that we're dealing with that, but it is what it is. Like, look, watch. It's gonna be scarfed. Told you. Called it. Oh, wow, it doesn't even KO. Fantastic. Fantastic, Rillaboom. That's what you get. Deserved. Deserved. Wait, was this it? Was it? Wait, did I see a, a, a seed? All right. It wasn't scarf. Oh, it was scarfed because it, it outsped my max speed uh, Goldengo. Had to be scarfed for it to to. <laughs> Thank God for Rillaboom and its broken stat line. <laughs> Minus two and it didn't KO. Under expanding force and. Gra <laughs> All right, Rillaboom. You know what? I'm I'm, I'm cool with that. All right, GG. Oh boy. <laughs> I don't want to play anymore. No. Pero por qué? Okay. I am uh, I am not happy right now. I'll tell you that right now. I might have to Terra. He 100% has to go Lily Cole into my team. Like you you never not go that, right? You have to. I feel silly not bringing this dude, to be honest. But god dang it, man. Kind of have to. I could bring Clefairy actually. Clefairy is fine too. Into this, and then just bring Midas. I, it's because I don't think I, uh. Yeah, I think this is the play. Wait, hold up before I mess this up. I think this is the play. This might be the play in case he goes Lilico. And if he doesn't, if he goes uh, Mouse Ape, then uh, GG, I guess. Uh, GG. <laughs> GG. That's all I gotta say for myself. Lilico, very strong. Very, very strong. Very, very strong. He just went full on tryhard. This guy is full on sweat mode with his uh, with his team because he has mouse ape and Nilico. Damn. Okay. This is why I say you still need white guard on this in this meta, man. There's so much stuff that you need to deal with. That's not worth it. Yep. There's Nilico. Told you. Okay. Oh, we have Dragon Turb. I I probably just don't care. I just go for Rock Slide and follow me. Sure, I get put to sleep, but I think that's completely fine. If you if you go for after you 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 are silly, my friend. You're absolutely silly. I don't even have the Terra right now. Like, I think I'm completely fine with uh, not using a Terra right now. Yeah, I thought so. That's what I thought. You stink, stinky boy. Okay, so what now you're playing um side spam then? Thanks for the sun at least. Appreciate it. You're gonna put my boy to sleep? Yeah you are. My little girl actually, my little Clefairy, that's fine.
Okay, we're just gonna do that. Good damage. I'm just gonna go for Flare Blitz onto this slot. I just keep following, going for follow me. He could go. He could go for close combat now. I, I'm sure I could take a close combat to the face. Hopefully. Haha! <laughs> you went for sleep powder. That's fine with me. Yeah, thanks for the sun, buddy. See why I have this this Arcanine? I'm, I'm glad I get to showcase the, sh the Arcanine because this is exactly why I want to do it. To do this. This is exactly why. To follow me, by the way, for the turn first turn, it wasn't for the sleep powder, it's for earth power. Earth power could just take out my Arcanine and I don't want that. Yeah, there's this thing again. Okay, I'm gonna protect here. I'm gonna try to protect here. Come on, Clefairy, wake up. Wake up, buddy. You gotta wake up. This Fire Terra. Okay, he's going straight in. Protect. Damn. Never lucky. Never lucky. Why is he trying to sleep me again? Oh. Huh? Why is he trying to save me again? Kind of insane. Yeah, we're gonna lose a fairy there. If I knew he was gonna try to sleep me again for some reason, I would have. Because close combat makes more sense there. Okay. I'm going to go for the extreme speed on this slot and protect. I think Arcanine did what he had to do. And we got rid of their redirection as well. I think this is fine. Who's in the back then? If it's not Mouse Ape, is it Armorush? We don't go for extreme speed because they have psychic terrain. Let us uh, remember that. After you shouldn't KO me if he goes for eruption here again. So I should be fine. I just need to get rid of this chlorophyll son of a gun. Get rid of chlorophyll son of a gun and we're good. We are absolutely golden. He could at least miss one of these. Bang. Sleep powders. Well, no, he, he can't even hit me with sleep powders, right? He actually went for after you. Okay, cool. I should live this. Times for resistance? Come on, man. We live this. We just need to live this. Yeah, perfectly fine. Alright, bye bye. No more after you. Get out of here. We don't like your we don't like your after yous. Please get out of here. Thank you. We still live too, so that's good. All right, once well trained, it's armor rouge. Oh, oh, okay. We're gonna go for rock slide here, and we're just gonna rock blast this damn armor rouge in the face. Cause we have Goldengo in the back to just finish up the Torco, if anything. But we can't let them bring. We can't let them have the um, the trick room to go up. Oh, oh, we're we're done. We're done. Never mind. We lost. We lost, okay. Yeah, there's nothing I could do about that. There's literally nothing I could do about that now. It's the weak armor version. He just has all the broken stuff, man. It's hard to deal with everything. Oh, man. That's unfortunate. I mean, he... He's faster, though. That's the thing. He is 100% faster now. I think even if I hit this thing... 
Yeah, I can't win. I, I'm pinned. I think we just go for Make It Rains. I'm pinned though. I don't win. I would need this to KO me. Like, I, not KO me. I need this to like not KO me. He might go for Heat Waves instead. And no, that was more than enough to KO me. Never mind. So many moves that miss, and he never missed too. Oh man, nothing we can do about this. We were, we, we, I think we played fine. It was just, how are we gonna know that that thing was gonna be a uh, weakness policy? You know, with the team that he was playing, it's it's really unlikely for it to be that. Because then I would have just went for Flare Blitz plus uh, Rock Blast, and I would have been fine. Rock Blast plus Flare Blitz. I'm, fa you know what's crazy is is how my, <laughs> I can't. Oh no, wait, no, we're 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 almost max speed on Arc, and I never mind and. What's his face isn't that the fastest thing alive. Man, alright. Well, let's just get on with it. Alright guys, that's gonna be the end of the video. Yeah, Cloyster is really difficult to play right now, which is why I didn't I, I was really like hesitant on making the team right now, but it's like nobody's gonna try out Cloyster. Nobody's gonna give Cloyster a shot this regulation because reg Cloyster is really really terrible. Like getting it set up is really really hard. It doesn't hit a lot of things. There's a lot of things that it can't hit with its skill link. Um and with the, with a format with Lilico and Spice, Psy Spam and Annihilate, Mouse Ape, or Chalodon, it's just really hard. Those four are very, very difficult to deal with. And if you don't have answers to it, then it's actually pretty bad. And honestly, this regulate, as, as cool as it is that we don't have a power creep meta with like Urshifu and stuff, the power creep is still there. And it's actually, this, this format feels actually a lot worse than. Regulation G, which is kind of sad to say, and it's because of our Chalodon and and Lilico and Mouse Ape. Those three, those three alone make this format feel really bad because it makes you, it kind of forces you to play meta meta stuff. You can play like the fun stuff, but it's really really difficult because our Chalodon exists. Our Chalodon specifically is what makes team building really difficult to do because think about it, Cloister can't do anything. Like technically, I can hit neutral into our Chalodon with this thing. But it has stamina, right? And because of stamina, I can't hit it harder because skilling gets countered by stamina. There's nothing you can do about that. Hitting it makes it stronger, so it's a really bad thing to to do, right? So that's why I had Goldengo here with the with the Terra Blast ground. But yeah, it's un it's unfortunate. And as you can see, even the like you literally was able to that guy was literally able to just put all the broken stuff together, and it works. Me, me just trying to mess around with Cloyster. Because if, if it wasn't for the fact that I was trying to mess with Cloyster, I probably could have just brought Rillaboom. And I think I would have been in a lot better position. But other than that, like there was really not much else I can do. I mean, what else could I have done? Maybe take out Torkoal first is my only guess. Go for Torkoal instead, instead of the, uh, the dude that takes that puts me to sleep. That's why I was kind of scared. I, could, I guess I should have done that. Should have just went more for Rock Slides instead. That way, Armor Rouge never has the chance to expand in force. I think that was probably the, the play, but everything on my team probably goes down to the heat waves anyway, so it doesn't really matter at that point. I had to just apparently know that it was weakness policy armor, uh, weak armor, because if, if I knew that, I just rock blasted and I just win. It doesn't, I, I wouldn't have to worry because Flare Bliss would do enough damage and then Go Dango deals with it, right? I just didn't think about the weak armor. But, anyways, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. I just want to thank um, Aquamoth again for the for the Cloister and the Murkrow because without without him, I wouldn't have been able to get the Cloister and the Murkrow as fast as I did. It's all thanks to him that I was able to. So thank you, Aquamoth, again for the for the Murkrow and the Cloister. Uh, so shout out to yeah, shout out to Aquamoth. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.